all know how much my father loves his dog, Gus. Oh. Oh. Hmm. In fact, I think that love borders on psychotic. I mean, not only does he have a picture of the dog tattooed on his body, but I think he loves the dog more than his own children. But what you didn't see on the show was that recently my father made another addition to his canine family. <laughs> All right, stop with the oohs and ahs. We're over here in uh, Newtown, Connecticut, and uh, today's the day that I pick up the new addition, uh, the pup. <laughs> You're the one that bites. <laughs> they all bite. Oh, oh, wait, watch out. Oh, my God. <laughs> Are they little nippers? Uh, you know, I've been giving uh, this a lot of thought. You know, I got my new place now with uh, 38 acres, and uh, I got a lot of property there, and uh, I've been thinking about having a buddy for Gus. That guy's a big guy right there, isn't he? Yes, he is. Yeah. Huh? That's what I, who I was looking at right there. I, it didn't take me too long to uh, uh, figure out which dog that I wanted. You know, when I picked uh, Gus, uh, he was the biggest pup in, in the litter. You can't you break him, him. He's big. I could be. And uh, basically, uh, I went with the same theory. So uh, the pup I got is uh, 18 pounds plus, and uh, most of the other dogs are around 15. And if you felt, felt the other ones, I mean... He's, he's, uh, yeah. he's easy that's going. him right there. Uh, they said his mannerism was a lot like Gus, kind of laid back, so uh, hopefully I made the right decision. Has this guy got a name already or no? No. Did you pick a name? Not yet, but we will. You know, everybody's kicking around now. I didn't really, uh, as far as names go, and I didn't really uh, put too much thought into it because I figured once I seen a dog, uh, it's a lot easier to figure out a name. How about Martin? Martin's a good name. Yeah. Marty? Yeah. Marty. Marty. What do you think, Marty? He's Marty, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah? I went with Marty. Uh, you know, our uh, uh, sound guy's name is Martin, and uh, he's kind of cute, too. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Holy mackerel. Weighs a lot, huh? Thank God I lift weights, huh? <laughs> Marty, you're home. Shut up, yo. I was a little bit concerned about uh, Gus's reaction because, you know, he's uh, he's been uh, the only baby here, you know. Come on, you're going to meet Gus. Come on, Marty. Gus. <gasps> Is that a brother? Look. <laughs> but I, I thought his response was pretty good, and I think that, uh, you know, as the pup gets a little bit older, they'll become closer and closer. <laughs> Come here, baby. Pee -pees. Good, good pee -pees. boys. He's <laughs> my pee-pees. Gus is doing pee-pees too. Look, oh. ah, there you go. That's bonding. <laughs> that is bonding. Good going, guys. Good introduction. It's it's kind of exciting to have a new pup. Uh, I'm sure that uh, there might be a few sleepers nights, but uh, uh, it's well worth it. Get out of there. Stop eating my trees. <laughs> He's all wet. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I guess you could say my father has a real soft spot for our four-legged friends and apparently sound technicians. That's probably because he saves up all his anger and frustration for his family members and his employees.